Social media, how many posts do you think you should do if you wanted to have 20 appointments a week? Five to ten. So guys, everybody's online, everybody's on Instagram, everybody's on Facebook. I can't make you do it. I try and lead by example. I have thousands of followers. I was just at the meeting, both Key and Hyundai and Genesis, and there are people are coming up to me and saying, hey, I've seen you online, I've seen you online, I've seen you online, I've seen you online. It works. It really does. Some of you managers are not at the level you need to be by leading by example. Right? You're just not. So if you want your salesman to do it, then you guys need to start doing it. But how it works is you do your personal image. Nobody's going to go on your social media if they don't like you. So part of it is what you do. Secondly is what you're about. Thirdly is what you do. Remember what I told you you own? What do you own? Your job is to give them about the best service they've ever gotten on selling used cars or a new Hyundai or a new Kia. And if you figure that out and you start giving good content, make it funny, make it original, the Chad's pick of the week, the used cars, the best wholesale vehicles. Um, we have 800 used cars. I've given you lots of stuff, right? Um, and then just a little bit about yourself. So I mean, Scott Barber, for instance, a great example is he's doing the dad joke of the week. It's original. But in his community, that was a good thing. Steve and him are doing the pizza thing. Original. In that community, that's a good thing. Has nothing to do with car sales. What he's doing is he's attracting followers, and then when he does post a car, they look at it that as well. I did a meeting at a realtor's office recently. Remax had me come in and speak to all their realtors. We're talking, and they're trying to figure out how to network and get deals. And I told him the story and it reminded me back when I was in Weyburn. I'm dating myself a little bit. But I can remember that my next door neighbor basically um, was away a lot. He worked on the rigs because in, in Weyburn, people are on the oil rigs a lot. Back then, I was just like you guys, but I, believe I mowed my own lawn back then. <laughs> so now I don't have lawn, but back then I did, okay? And so when I was doing my lawn, I mowed his. That's what neighbors do. I'd mow mine, I went over and did his. For weeks and weeks and weeks I would do it, then he would come back, he'd thank me for it. One day I went away for the weekend, and I came back and I seen a car in his driveway. And it was from my dealership. So I talked to him and said, hey, notice you got a car. He goes, yeah, 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 no, I went in there, bought a car. I said, oh, okay, you know that I work there, right? And he's like, yeah, I know, I know you work there, but I just thought that, you know, when I, as long as I went there, that that would be okay. I didn't do a good enough job on letting my friends and family and my neighbors know that I earned my living from selling that car. He thought just because I was associated with the business that he could go in there and buy a car and he was helping me. And from that moment on, I learned a lesson. It was like, it's my job to make sure that my circle of influence and my friends and people know exactly what I do for a living and know exactly that I can provide them a service better than anyone else. And so I ask you guys that are all on social media and followers, does your friends and family and personal people know exactly what you do and what you can do for them? If they don't and you're just assuming it, but you've never really made sure they understand it, then you haven't went to that next level and then guess what? Your next door neighbor is gonna go buy a car off someone that should have been you, just like it happened to me.